Well, it's a good idea. It's not for me. 79-year-old Paul Shearer has lived at Lonzo Park and Ride for the last four to five months. He's one of about 15 people still left in the community. At least 100 people used to call it home. And while he commends the province for building more housing, he says he isn't willing to part ways with his RV. This is my home. You know, I, I don't want to lose it. You know, I'm not going to give it away. You know, I'm, I'm comfortable, sort of. And he can't see himself going into government housing again. It's like a cell. It's like jail. The province says anyone still living at Lonzo Park and Ride off Sumas Way in tents and RVs will be moved to safe indoor spaces. All while a new temporary 50-bed shelter will be built on the encampment site. But everyone needs to leave in order for construction to start. If you do not leave the land and remove your personal property by June 26, 2023, you will be trespassing, which is an offense under the Trespass Act. Housing Minister Ravi Kalon says the new temporary shelter is expected to be ready by late fall. We will have 24-hour support services there, meals, uh, wellness uh, supports, health-related supports. It will be open for up to 18 months before a new permanent location is chosen. Advocates say such moves are hard on vulnerable people. To me, it's just a game. To me, it just seems like a, 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 a game, an endless game, because you're playing with the lives of real humans. And he adds whatever housing is built has taken far too long. We know we need housing. Just, just build housing, right? Like, why is this a constant discussion? The province says it knows this housing will not solve the problem for those without permanent homes in Abbotsford, but it hopes it's a start. Zara Premji, CBC News, Abbotsford.